I had a thought about that, Zoe. I think I'd be King Killer. Think about that one. Now, the Extreme Fighting Championship returns to Grand West this Saturday with two fights or headlining fights, as well as nine other fights keeping you entertained throughout the afternoon. Now, this morning, we have president of the EFC, Kyra Hoth, and also uh, fighters Jake Hadley and Kazimulo Zulu, who are, or who is, of course, the defending EFC flyweight champion, in studio with us ahead of the big night, what promises to be an incredible fight night at EFC 48. Gentlemen, thank you very much for being here. We really do appreciate you bringing us the excitement and the entertainment of EFC fighting. Awesome. Thanks for having us on the show. Yeah. I want to talk to you guys first. Uh, firstly, the, the, the two fighters. Um, Ngazimulo, obviously, you being the local fighter uh, from Johannesburg, and Jake, you've come all the way from Birmingham, England, yeah. um, to fight here. Um, how did you each get started? I, I don't know if, if fight fans actually know your background, um, where you got started with uh, in, uh, mixed martial arts and EFC fighting. Um, well, as uh, from a young kid, um, you know, my dad used to box, and um, a great my granddad was a pro boxer, so I just grow, grew up around watching fighting, um, and uh, I got to a certain age, and I kept asking my dad to take me to the local gym. So eventually, he did. Yeah. Um, as a young kid, and basically, I've progressed from there. Um, you know, never missed a session of training, and progress from there to where I am today, basically. That's yeah. how I started in. Yeah, Zulu boy? Uh, well, yeah, I started uh, at a very young age, like doing karate uh, for self-defense. And uh, that's where I realized that uh, when I go and compete, I'm one of the best, uh, I, can, I can beat people up. So yeah. I'm not like him, like he's, he watches his dad, he thinks he's going to box like, like his dad, well, uh, he's not. This thing is in my blood, like from the Zulu warrior. I was uh, born with it, so it's it's in me. So <laughs> I didn't choose it; it chose me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Clearly, Jake doesn't think much of that. But tell me about the preparations and the pressures that go into getting yourself ready for a fight like that's going to take place on Saturday. Yeah, f f on my side, there is no pressure, but um, it takes a lot. Uh, it takes a uh, hard work. Yeah. You know. Um, Eating plan, training hard, make sure you're in the gym uh, from very early in the morning and afternoon, train three times a day. It takes uh, a, a very, very lot of work to to compete in the AFC. Yeah. Jake? Yeah, uh, you know, training's hard, you know, uh, two or three times a day, you know what I'm saying? Um, the preparation's hard, so, yeah. Yeah. He's training with his mama. He's still young. <laughs> Wow. Mate, wow. Mate. I mean, well, I mean, th th yeah, this is, this is part of the, the nature today, of, of the face. You of, your mama. The, You're going to get mama. Your mama is going to be here. You're going to be here. Let's keep it together. Let's keep it together. Let's keep it together. Just for a second, give Kyra a chance to speak um, as a president, of course, of um, EFC. Tell me about, man, being in the ring, because you've been there before, the emotions that go through a fighter knowing that you're about to face off against a man who's literally looking to knock your head off. I think, you know, that's, that's exactly it. The motivation for training is when this guy doesn't get out of bed or you're thinking about, do I want to train now, you think your opponent is training and they come in there to, you know, to fight against each other. So it is, it's an intense sport. That a lot of preparation goes into it, which most professional athletes have, but this sport has got that extra edge where there's two people actually trying to hurt each other at the yeah, end of it. Yeah, human against human. And there'll be uh, some big fights also on Saturday. The main event or the co-main event the, being that of JP Base uh, going up against Tando Biko as well as having uh, Ngazimulo fight against Jake being the co-main event. What can people expect from the day? What can people expect from these fights? Uh, if you haven't ever watched an EFC event live, uh, you got to see it. It's the most exciting sport in the world. I mean, you get these top athletes coming in from around the world all competing. We've got two title fights on Saturday night, plus a host of other great matchups coming up. I mean, there's some big other fights on that card. Luke Michael and Conrad CRV is a massively hyped fight as well. But really, the whole fight card is stacked. And it's exciting from the beginning till the end. Yeah, well, as I said, fantastic to have you here. Uh, good luck with the rest of the remaining preparation of what's left uh, for the big fight on Saturday, gentlemen. Give it your best and good luck at EFC 78. Now, so to see who wins the fight between these two fantastic fighters, tune in to SABC 3 this Saturday at 9.30 for all the EFC live event action you do not want to miss out.